Welcome back guys. In this video, you will learn how to create this cool 3D text effect inside of Photoshop easily. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new document. I will set the width to 1920 by 1080 at this resolution and then just click on create. Let's start by customizing the background. I will click on the new adjustment layer icon and choose gradient. For the purpose of this lecture, I created a custom gradient already. I will click on this down pointing arrow here and select the gradient from here. If you want to have the exact result, click on the gradient bar here. That is going to bring up the gradient editor. Click on the first top here and copy this color code. Then click OK. If you don't have a stop here at the center, then just move the hand icon there to be able to create a color stop as you can see. Once you have the color stop, select it and make sure the location is set to 50%. Then input this color code there and click OK. Click on the last color stop here and input this color code as well. Then click OK. Once you have this gradient, save it because we are going to need it. Give it a name here and click on New. That is going to save it with these other gradients here. I don't need to do that because I already saved that gradient. I'll just click OK. Then make sure that the style is set to linear and the angle is set to 90 degrees. Then click OK. Now that the background is ready, let's get rid of this background. With the text tool, this is the font I'm using. It is set to black and this is the font size. I'll just click here and then I'll input 3D text. To centralize the text, I'll press Ctrl plus A, then press V key to access the move tool, then I'll click here and also click here. Then I'll deselect by pressing Ctrl plus D. On the 3D text layer, let us right click and then let's choose blending options. Let's just move this window to the side, just like so. I'll click on drop shadow here to make sure we also have a check mark beside it. Then I'll click on the reset button here to send everything back to default. These values here are okay, but let's increase the opacity to 55%. Then let's click here and change the color. Then click on this button on the contour and choose ring double. Let's add four more copies of this drop shadow by clicking on the plus sign four times. With the topmost drop shadow selected, let's change the color to black. Make sure global light is checked and this angle is also 90 degrees. I'll set the distance to 17 pixels and change the spread to 58%. Then I'll simply increase the size to 27 pixels. And we have this effect on the screen. Let's turn on gradient overlay. As you can see, the gradient bar here automatically pick the gradient I save. If this is not the case with you, then simply click on this down pointing arrow. Then scroll down and select the gradient. Set the style to linear and set the angle to 90 degrees to complement with the other angle here. Right now the text is okay but it looks flat. Let us add some inner glow to it. Click on inner glow and then just click on this color option here and pick a complementary color. You can copy this code if you want to have the exact result. The inner glow just create this kind of soft inner stroke effect as you can see. Click OK. Set the technique to precise and not softer, right here. Then if the source is set to center, change to edge. Then input these values here. Then the last layer style we are going to apply is the stroke because we need to firm the edges. Click on stroke and then change the fill type from solid color to gradient. Then click here, scroll down and also pick that gradient. Then you can adjust these other settings. One of these important settings is the position. Make sure it is set to the inside. Then set the size to 9 pixels. With all these settings, click OK. You can see all the effects that have been applied being stuck up here. The good thing about this text is that it is completely editable. If you need to edit this text, just double click on the thumbnail here. We can input maybe something like fast saga. Or we can also double click here and input maybe master. It is completely editable. Let's return back to 3D text. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you and I'm waiting to see you in the next one. Bye bye.